Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srajul of Fancy. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to talk about synthesis of spleen. You know synthesis of spleen is in practical exams and most of the university they have syllabus of practical examinations and this synthesis present in third year of BSc. So let us start how you will synthesize a spring from salicylic acid. You can see this molecule. This is acetic anhydride, sulfuric acid and this is the salicylic acid. Uh, acid uh, Acetyl salicylic acid, this is a spring, and you have this is acetic acid. So, first, what you need to do? First of all, you need to do take the 2 grams of salicylic acid in a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Erlenmeyer flask is a special type of flask where bottom is big and neck is small. You will find this element of flask in almost all chemical laboratory. In the second, add 5 milliliter of acetic anhydride. Be careful, acetic anhydride is a dangerous chemical. Followed by 5 drop of Kong sulfuric acid. For taking uh, five drops, you have to use a dropper. Uh, H2SO4, you know, is highly corrosive. And swell the flask gently. Swell the flask gently until the salicylic acid dissolves. So, slowly you can add and try to dissolve salicylic acid. Then next what you need to do, you need to do heat the flask gently on the steam bath of uh, bath for at least 10 minutes. Then my friends what you need to do, allow to the flask to cool to room temperature. If acetyl salicylic acid does not begin to crystallize out, scratch the wall of the flask with a glass rod. Cool the mixture slightly in an ice bath you know the ice bath until crystallization is completed the product will appear as a solid mass when crystallization is completed add 50 milliliter of water and cool the mixture in an ice bath do not add the water until crystal formation is complete vacuum filter the product using bubble funnel you can use some of the filtrate to rinse the inner flask if necessary then rinse the crystal several times with a small portions, 5 ml of cold water and air dry the crystal on Bukhna funnel by suction, suction until the crystal appear to be free of the solvent. Test this crude product for the presence of unreacted salicylic acid using the ferric chloride test. Record the weight of the crude solid which probably contains water. Stir the crude solid with 25 ml of saturated equal sodium bicarbonate solution in a 250 ml beaker until all sign of reactions have ceased. Evolution of uh, carbon dioxide ceases. Filter the solution through the Buchner funnel to remove any insoluble impurities or polymers that may have been formed. You know, Wash the beaker and funnel with 5 to 10 ml of water. Carefully pour the, pour the filtrate with the stirring a small amount at a time into an ice cold HCl solution. 3.5 ml of conch HCl in 10 ml of water in a 150 ml beaker and cool the mixture in an ice bath. Make sure that the resulting solution is acidic. You know blue litmus paper 
and that the spleen has completely precipitated down. Then what you need to do, filter the solid by suction and wash the kishtan three times with 5 ml of cold water each. Remove all liquid from the kishtan by pressing with clean stock. So, then friends, uh, air dry the crystal and transfer them to a wash glass to dry, for dry. Then uh, what you need to do, test a small amount of product uh, for the presence of unreacted salicylic acid using the ferric chloride solutions. Then when the product is completely dry, weigh the product, determine its melting point, approx literature value 135 to 136 degrees Celsius and calculate the percentage. Dissolve the final product in a minimum amount, no more than 2 to 3 ml of hot ethyl acetate in a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Make sure that the product is completely dissolved while gently and continuously heating on a steam bar. Then cool the solution to room temperature and then in a ice bath collect the product by vacuum filtration and rinse out of the flask with a few milliliters of cold petroleum ether. When the product is completely dry, weigh its weight, determine its melting point, literature value 135 degrees Celsius and calculate the percentage yield of this crystallized product. Calculate the percentage recovery of the recrystallized material from crude material and submit the crystalline sample in a small vial with proper labeling to the urine stock. Then what you need to do? You need to do ferric chloride test for salicylic acid. Why? because it is unreacted uh, if some amount is present and it is not reacted then uh, if you do this test you will understand uh, something is remaining which is not completely converted into uh, a spleen you know add 10 drops of equals 1% ferric chloride solution to a test tube containing a few crystal of the compound to be tested dissolve in 5 ml water and note the color. Do this test with 1 phenol and 2 salicylic acid and 3 your crude products. Formation of iron phenol complex with iron 3 gives a definite color change from red to violet depending upon the particular phenol presents. So my friends some question is very important related to this experiments. Question number 1. Uh, normally, you measure reactant to at least two significant figures. Why is it not necessary to measure the volume of acetic anhydride to two significant figure? What is the theoretical yield of spleen in two significant figure? Why is the spleen washed with cold water? Uh, this you have to think about. According to data in the Merck index, if one gram of spleen is dissolved in 100 ml of water, at 37 degrees Celsius, how much spleen will precipitate out of solution when it is cooled to 25 degrees Celsius? A polymeric material which is a polyester is formed in this reaction. You know polyester are often made from carboxylic acid and thiols. In this case, one molecule salicylic acid provides both the alcohols and the carboxylic acid. Write uh, a structure for ester form from acetic acid and ethanol. If you have difficulty, look at the banana iron experiments. So my friends, I hope this video will be beneficial for you. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe my channel because my hope uh, is that if you subscribe, then it will give me energy to make such type of video. For you so subscribe my channel share it in your friend circle and thanks for watching